In the previous videos, we learned about statements, truth values, and then we also learned about compound statements. In this video, we're going to learn about an if-then statement. So an if-then statement is read as if some statement, we're going to name P, then Q. So P is known as the hypothesis, and Q is known as the conclusion. In symbols, we would write P with an arrow pointing towards Q, meaning if P, then Q, or P implies Q. This form of an if-then statement is known as a conditional. A conditional is given this hypothesis P, we're implying the conclusion Q. So an if statement in the form of a conditional is P implies Q. In the next video, we are going to go over related conditionals, so we're going to have things besides P implying Q. We're going to start with an example. We're going to say that P is the statement, it is raining. And we're going to say Q is the statement, I wear a jacket. So doing this conditional, P implies Q, we're saying that we're saying that if it is raining, then I bring a jacket. P implies Q. So for our truth table, we're going to have P, Q, and then P implies Q. So filling this out, they can both be true. One can be true, one can be false. The other can be false while the other is true. Or they can both be false. Now, I'm saying if it is raining, then I bring a jacket. So if this statement P is true, so if it is raining and I wear a jacket, then this conditional is true. If it's raining, I bring a jacket. That is true. If it's raining and I don't wear a jacket, then this conditional is false. That is because you cannot have a true hypothesis and a false conclusion. So now we're moving on and saying that this first statement is false and the second statement is true. So if it is not raining, I wear a jacket. That's possible. So that is also true. Because you can have a false hypothesis and still get a true conclusion. And last but not least, both of them are false. It's not raining and I don't wear a jacket. That is true because a false hypothesis can lead to a false conclusion. The only way the conditional P implies Q is not true is in this instance here, and that is because a true hypothesis will never lead to a false conclusion. In all other cases, a conditional is true.